guess that wasn't easy, was it? Um, yeah, first thing that comes to mind, a tale of two halves. Um, uh, nothing was easy in that first half. And, and like I said on the radio, I mean, you know, we got guys uh, breaking out of our offense. And, and I want to use selfish, but I don't want to use selfish. I think they mean well. Uh, but sometimes uh, a little bit of frustration, a little ball pressure, and, and I think they, they, they think they got to put their head down and, and drive it. Uh, when, when in reality, a lot of times, the, the pass is the best option. So credit to our guys. I, I told them they had an amount of, uh, uh, immense amount of resiliency, uh, resolve, just like the George Mason game. We had some adversity, and we stepped up to the plate and figured out a way to win. So, so Josh, uh, players are just saying, you know, halftime is in played awful, but only down six. So you get encouragement even though you didn't play well the first half? Yeah, four for 32. And um, I told them there's no way you can shoot any worse than that. And, I, and I've been in this building and seen a lot of games here as part of the staff. And I, I kept on thinking back to that Cincinnati game where we set a field goal percentage low. I think it was like 20% for the game. So uh, we were right on, on track to, to get there in that first half, I think we shot 14%. So um, I told him, I was like, you guys start to step up and shoot the ball with confidence. And I've seen it the last couple of days. It seemed like everybody was hitting front rim. And we, we weren't really getting over the rim. And, and um, maybe it's legs. And I've been very uh, concerned about trying to make sure we keep these guys fresh because we really do have a, a short bench. And something I'll have to be mindful of in the coming days. Josh, I, I don't have the final box, but uh, you know, Jesse, it's a double double, and I'm guessing he probably maybe took the fewest shots of all the starters tonight. Uh, just, just your thoughts on that, and, and how do you kind of you know get that to evolve as the, the season goes on with him? Well, uh, you know, they did what they had to do defensively because they they knew their 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 inadequacy in terms of uh, you know we had the advantage with Jesse down low. Now, did we have the advantage? If he if he made the right play and got in the right people's hands, I think he got to a point where he's forcing some things. And sometimes, you know, you know, Jesse's just going to have to, you know, play the part, and and he sees a double coming and make the right pass. And uh, I I probably forced it a little too hard, but uh, I wanted to get 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 him as many touches as I could. But uh, I don't. You said how many how many field goals did he shoot there? Seven. Seven. Yeah, we got to get him more shots one way or another. But um, we certainly, you know, have a short bench, and um, we, we've been playing with a lot of different rotations in, in the last few days to try to figure out some some chemistry in the offensive end. But I didn't think it was going to be that bad in the first half. But uh, I feel like everybody locked in and, and figured out a way to execute the, the sets in the second half, which really made a difference. Josh, obviously you're going to that you're going to tell them, hey, keep shooting, shots are going to fall. But was it important that they were saying the same things to themselves coming off the court at halftime that they had already figured out that same message not to get their heads down? Yeah, I mean, confidence is so big in basketball. Uh, it, it can make it or break you in so many ways. And and I'm not the, the type of coach that's going to you know wear them down. And, I mean, I'm going to try to build them up as much as I can. And... You know, I, I think a, there's an immense amount of pressure on those guys, and I, I hate to use the word selfish, like I said earlier, uh, but they were trying to break off the, the offense. And, and um, things work a heck of a lot better when everybody's on the same page and execute the, the sets the way, you know, we draw them up. Josh, before the, before the game, I noticed that whole front row in the, behind your bench look like your family and, yeah. and friends and grandfathers and everything else. Uh, you hugged every one of them. You kissed most of them. Uh, what was going through your mind at that point in time? I mean, uh, first debut here in the likes. Uh, everybody kept on telling me. I kept on hearing the same message, you know, sit back and enjoy it, take in the moment, smile a little bit, and, you know, and it's it's hard to do. It's easy to say. It's hard to do. Uh, I, can, I can smile a lot better now. And I got that kind of that sense of relief and, and got that first one under my belt. Uh, but, yeah, I had uh, – it was special. Yesterday I had, a, I had a table for 20 at all of Arios with uh, every single one of them was an Eilert. So I, I got a big Catholic family, and, and uh, they're excited to, to, to back me. And, and so two of my cousins and their families and one of my brothers came up and, and, and made a weekend of it to support me. And, 
it means so much to me that they they made that effort and and somebody to cel celebrate with tonight. Big table was a big bill, right? Yeah, it was a big bill. Who picked it up? I did. <laughs> uh, when you go through that, you know, you you got your family there. You're you know you're flying high. This is my first game, and you. What was the first half like? I mean, nothing I wasn't going flying high in the first half by any means. I was sitting there looking up at the ceiling a couple times, like, what did I get myself into? And uh, but like like I told the guys, I mean, we couldn't have, we couldn't have shot it any worse in the first half. So uh, you know, the law of averages, uh, you know, came into play. So you know, we shot it better, and I don't know what we end up uh, for the game, but uh, even our rebounding was a little better, 46 boards and. So the majority of our goals uh, came true. I mean, we really took care of the ball. Uh, I w always tell these guys when we keep it under nine, uh, we're in good shape. So with a backup point guard, two backup point guards with Kobe and JB, uh, we only turned it over seven times against a very good defensive team in Missouri State. And that's where they hang their hat and, and they really gave us uh, trouble. So uh, credit to them and, and their program. They really uh, gave us a, a rock fight there. Players are saying after the game they gave you a Gatorade shower or a water. Yeah, that uh, <laughs> I had to change my shirt. It was it was it was more of a Gatorade. It was more than just Gatorade. I mean, it was I couldn't see there for for a couple minutes. It was special. Um, I love each and every one of these guys, and and they're a reason they're a part of our program. And uh, there, there's I have an immense amount of trust in them, and and I hope it uh, goes both ways, and I think it does, and. Uh, we keep on building that chemistry and keep moving forward. So I'm excited about uh, our guys and our roster and, and our staff, and I, I think we're going in the right direction. Uh, we just, uh, we've just we had some bad luck, and, and things haven't went our way, but um, I say bad things come in threes. I, I think it came in about a dozen for me. So I hope that turns around and, and uh, we start riding, riding the, the tide the other direction. Josh, um, down just six and a half. Um, I think you guys probably would say you didn't play very well, but that's reasonable under nine. Um, any reason, like a lot of free throws, but any reason for that or any contributing causes to being down just six? I mean, they had their problems scoring too. I mean, um, they certainly shot it a lot better in the second half, but they had their problems scoring. And uh, no, it, it was. Uh, it was hard to sit there and, and, and look at that, that offensive production that, that, that really was inadequate. And I keep on saying our offense has changed and, and we're way more efficient. So I thought I was going to have to eat my words. But uh, we, we turned it around the second half. When you look at, when you look at the box and what Seth gave you, like 98% of that was the first seven minutes of the second half. Uh, he's obviously a streaky shooter over his career. But how do you get what he did in those seven minutes and spread it out over 40. Well, I probably – I'm going to take credit for his bad shooting in the first half. And I thought a lot about my dad, and uh, he'd be really proud and he'd be here. I lost him six years ago. It wasn't long after that uh, Seth lost his dad. And I told him before the game, I said, Seth, you know, your dad would be mighty proud of you. And so, you know, he got a little emotional. I got a little emotional. He said, Coach, you can't do that before, before the game. <laughs> So I'll take uh, credit for the way he shot in the first half just because I, I put that on him. But I did want him to know how, how much his, uh, how, how proud his dad would be of him and how far he's come. And he's had some resiliency and, and stuck through it. And now he's uh, one of the guys we're going to rely on. Oh, for you got some good minutes tonight. Uh, the players talked about him being like a, a veteran in the freshman body. Uh, could you kind of talk to what he brings to the team a bit? No, he's been awesome. He certainly didn't have his best game out there tonight. He made a few mistakes, but uh, I know I can count on Ofri. Um, I've talked about it several different times. He's He really does have a high basketball IQ, uh, especially for a freshman, one of the highest I've seen come through here You know, as a freshman. So uh, once his body continues to develop and – uh, he's going to be a, a very special player. He's already a special player, but uh, as long as he has that growth mindset and continues to get better, uh, he might be one of the best to ever play here as we move forward. Uh, that's that's a, a big thing to say, but uh, that's how much I believe in him. Along those lines, Seth gets hurt at the end there. They give a timeout left to put Ofri in. Do you think at all about you know, give Seth 90 seconds, even get back in? And you had Ofri triggering on the inbound too, which... Yeah, I mean, 
uh, he was cramping for several minutes uh, prior to. I think, you know, he kept on, he fought through it, but that one uh, was the big one that hit him. So I didn't think he was going to be very effective. So it made sense to get Ofer in there. Defensively, what did you think of your defensive effort? Offense struggled in the first half, better in second, but what did you think the defense overall? For the most part, good. Like uh, the the biggest problem we had was coming out of timeouts, and and I, I told those guys in, in in the locker room afterwards, we got to lock in on these on these timeouts. We got to be on the same page. I think we we threw a two three zone out there at one point, and there's four guys on the same side. I'm like, what are we doing? So um, I think it got lost in translation because we did try to switch the defense several times to keep him off guard, uh, but we we, uh, we lost track of some guys, and they made shots. And credit to them, they made them. Is so, part of that just figuring out how to run everything? I mean, I know you had the secret, not so secret scrimmage and an exhibition game, or whatever. But you still got to kind of figure out how everything works and go through that as a staff. Is that part of the learning process? Oh yeah, I mean we're learning. Uh, I'm learning as a as a new head coach. My assistants are all fairly new assistant coaches, uh, but we're all on the same page. Uh, we just got to make sure we're, we're communicating very well with these guys. So we're coming out of these uh, timeouts. We're all on the same page. But uh, they're building their chemistry. Uh, we're building our chemistry as a staff each and every day. Um, I think everybody has an immense amount of trust and belief in each other. Uh, we just got to keep that going and keep that growth mindset. Coach, obviously, the, obviously, obviously the situation Kobe w was in, uh, eight points, four assists, zero turnovers. Uh, just, you know, what did you – See out there. What, what did you think? Uh, you know, with everything that he was their strategy doing. was to back off of Kobe, and they were going to make Kobe beat us uh, in the first half, and and uh, so that they were sagging off him and, and jamming everything up in the paint. But uh, Kobe took good shots. I, I don't think uh, he's probably been in a position to to where uh, he had to be the guy, so he had to step up and make those. Now, first half and second half was a for Kobe was a tale of two halves. Uh, Kobe really got more aggressive, and I put him in a position to be more aggressive and, and, and take it downhill at the rim and take advantage of his size. And that's what we tried to do to begin the game, but it, it didn't really work out as well for us. As I thought we would. I thought we could uh, isolate him and put him on a smaller guard and, 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 and score that early and get him going. So it didn't quite work out the, the way I planned, but uh, that's kind of how it works in coaching sometimes. Could you speak to the importance of this film breakdown as you guys move forward? Yeah, you know, we got a quick turnaround. Uh, you know, we'll have tomorrow off. Uh, we have to take tomorrow off. We have we have no choice. And then we got two day prep for for Monmouth. So we'll watch some of that. Uh, but uh, I think for the most part, they know what they did wrong, and you could tell by the difference in the two halves. Uh, they know what they did wrong. They, they just didn't didn't execute. They they broke the offense. So. Uh, we'll break some of it down, but uh, more so than not, then we're probably going to move on to Monmouth and, and get ready for Monmouth. Good. Uh, anything with, new with the, the Cook or Raekwon? Or Nothing I can report at this point. Coach, thank you. Thank you.